Hello, you bunch of tankers, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 5.0. We have crossplay. As you can see, there are Xbox players in this lobby. And let me tell you how it feels good. It feels good. Today, I want to talk about the STB-1. The STB-1 has had a suspension change. It now has hydropneumatic suspension, as it did in real life, giving you a whopping 15 degrees of gun depression, which sounds fantastic. The benefits are great. That means you can abuse different ridges you couldn't use before. It also helps with your turret armor, because obviously if they're shooting up at you, that turret armor is now massively increased in its effective angling. Now, was it a good change? I'm undecided on it myself, because... It is very, very wonky, very clunky, very much like the Swedish mediums. Um, some of you will have either played them or seen them. That reticle doesn't really keep up very well with the um, actual hull itself during the movement. Now, this first game is out on Ghost Town. This is just kind of showcasing the hydropneumatics on the STB. The second game, if you want to see the new map, skip to six minutes and you will see Sunset Coast in all of its lighted glory. Um, it's not a bad map, actually. It's quite nice. Now, another thing I want to talk about this game, something you may, may, you may notice, I'm playing an STB-1, and my shots are going where I want them. Obviously, the two I've auto-aimed have missed because I'm a scrub, so they will miss, I'm trying to hit things on the move. But something's happened to the reticle. Now, there's no official mention of this. There's no official answers to this. But a few people have been reporting uh, in the official Discord uh, and in the various CC channels that they're noticing that the guns are hitting a lot more than they used to. And, you know, the STB, famously not a very uh, accurate tank, it is quite troll at times. I had a couple of games in it last night just to test out the new suspension, and I found it to be extremely accurate. Now, there's no actual changes to its accuracy itself, but whether there's been a bit of a merge with possibly uh, a server-side reticle, I don't know. This is all sort of speculation, but you guys try it out, let me know what you think. I found that it does seem to hit way more snipey targets than it used to. On all the tanks, the Chieftain as well was amazing. Now, right now you're going to notice what I mean by the wonky clunkiness. So we auto-aim up the Iron Rain, back away because he is going to be loaded and our Type 61 takes it down. Now in a minute I'm going to focus on a Valor. I'm going to have to utilise Siege Mode for this. And you can see that gun bounce, which I'm lucky the Valor isn't loaded, but that could get you killed. That bounce is very, very irritating I found. You get to your 10 degrees of gun depression, then for the last five, the Hydro Pneumatics kick in. And when that happens, the gun really does seem to bounce around everywhere. And that was one of the things I was very sceptical about getting Hydro Pneumatics. I love the STB. I think it's a fantastic, fast little medium, and it suits my playstyle down to the ground. I wanted it to come in as a package, so we had an option, you know? So we could go, well, do you know what? Um, I don't really like it, so I'm going to utilise the standard... Um, suspension, but no, it has come in, that's it. There are no gun changes either, like PC had. This is purely just a suspension change, and that is all you're going to get. Now look at that, tracking shot on the move, and it hits. Normally the STB, that, that would have been sort of hitting K2 or something like that, but very odd, very odd. It, like I say, it may just be me being a bit tinfoil, but there's a, quite a few of us all reporting that the guns seem way more accurate than they used to be, and, and in my opinion, that can only be a good thing. If, if that change has come about, fantastic. So yeah, the standard typical STB1 gameplay here. We are just getting amongst it, trying to flank as much as we possibly can, um, and take out as many tanks as feasible. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to get this one out there just to showcase that bit with the Valor, really, that, you know, that gun bounce is particularly irritating, and if you, you know, if you're used to the Swedish mediums, you're probably going to like this. For me, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. I, I found the mechanic to be a bit. Uh, it's great in theory, but in practice, I just find the reticles a little bit too wonky. Especially if you know you're having to snapshot things, you're, you're removing that ability to quickly snap onto targets. Um, but, you know, I'll get used to it, I'll get used to it. I'm still going to enjoy playing the STB-1 because, well, it's, it's just a tag I love. I, I think it's fantastic. It suits me down to the ground. 
So we come out with a pretty okay gain there. 4,759 damage. Uh, and a bit of assist there. Round us up to 5k combined. Now, the next game is on Sunset Coast. And... There's a couple of things in it I want to point out to you in re regards to matchmaking and also in regards to people loading in or the UI loading in, to be honest with you. There's a couple of little issues going on. Well, there are quite a few bugs at the minute going on. Gold is non-purchasable. War chests aren't appearing. There's quite a bit going on bug-wise, but the patch is fresh, so I'm not surprised by that. But well, here we are, Sunset Coast. And the first thing you might notice is it's 12v11. Also, pretty much all of my team is greyed out like they aren't there. Now, if you look on the minimap, you can see that the team are actually moving. There's a hell of a lot more tanks than just three moving there. So that, again, is a UI bug. It looks like people aren't loaded into the game, but they actually are. Um, 12v11, this isn't too bad. I have seen reports on the official Discord of worse. Um, this was late night on EU, to be honest with you. There was around about 1,000 people on. So I just jumped into Tier 10. It was half past 2 in the morning. I just wanted a couple of games to see the map, to see what the SDB was like. Um, so this may not happen as, you know, as often. Um, but just be aware right now, there are lopsided teams out there. And if you look at the top, it looks like most people are sort of loading in. They are moving. Don't worry about it. It is a UI bug. But here's the map. Now, <coughs> this is based on airfield. And if you look at the overview of the map, it kind of just looks like airfield at high tide. Like, you know, like the, t the, the tide's rolled in and it's flooded around the hill area. So I've come down here because being airfield, I thought, well, do you know what? The centre hill, kind of a focal point, really good for things like the STB, utilise the gun depression. So I'm headed down here, but the hill is gone. <laughs> the hill isn't there anymore, which I was very surprised by, but... The new visual graphics do look quite nice. Like, the new lighting and stuff, I, I, I do quite like it. Now, yeah, this is a reskin of Airfield, but I'll be honest with you, now I've had two games on it, it, it does kind of play very differently. Just in the fact that this area, as you can see, is pretty much identical. But with that hill being gone, would normally where the, where the right-hand side of my tank is, that would normally be the hill that you climb um, to sort of spot out the other spawn. That is kind of a flat area, just a rocky area now. So, whilst it is a reskin, it does play very differently to the standard airfield. Um, I quite like it. A couple of games I've played on it, I do quite like it. I, I think, personally, I think it's better than Kaunas. Um, but I'm just so sick of having that map, to be honest with you. Now, I will link in the description of the video there are the full patch build notes available now on the portal. Like I say, I'll put a link to them in the description of the video so you can have a little peruse through. But the AT line's got a buff. Not the Death Star, but um, thank God for that. Um, but the rest of the AT line has had a bit of a buff. Just little things, turret, turret traverse speeds, terrain resistances, um, accuracy, rate of fires. There's, you know, there's quite a lot going on with the British AT line. In them build notes, it looks like that is the only tank line that's, you know, had mass changes down it so far. I imagine there's more to come, um, but, you know, this is this is a biggie, guys. This is a big one. I'd also like to note the PS4 feasting I haven't really experienced so far. One thing that I have found and I'm loving is now that we have the Xbox players in, I I'm noticing their aggressive pushes are actually being backed up. I, I, I'm quite an aggressive player, as many of you know, um, and I do tend to notice that aggressive pushes you're usually out on your own. Um, but the couple of games I've had with Xbox now so far, it shows that they, they kind of they're up for it, man. They are banged up for getting a big push out there and sort of, you know, the playing of my playstyle. Whether that's because of uh, the CCs I used to watch back in the day were all Xbox. Um, and I sort of, you know, have adapted off their playstyle. I don't know, but this is this is a great thing. Crossplay is for me a fantastic, fantastic thing, um, and something that's been needed for quite some time. Another thing to note, guys, if you have a Valor, check your ammunition loadout. There are reports that the ammunition on the Valor has switched to gold. 
So when you fire premium rounds, it will be gold that you are spending. So make sure you go into your garage, check the packages and make sure that that Valor premium rounds are selected on silver. But yeah, so you've seen a bit of the map here. I'm going to try and get another video out a bit later in the week to um, just try and experience a little bit more of the map. There's only certain areas I've been to so far. Um, but yeah, I, I, I quite like it. I'll be honest, I, I really do quite like the map. And again, STB1 hitting so many shots. What is going on with this madness? Uh, it's, it's brilliant. I love it. I love it. Uh, yeah, again, not um, we're not going to blow anyone's minds with that game, but, you know, we've done about 4K combined there. Just, again, I wanted to get out and just try the tank and see what we could, could do, to be honest with you. Um, now, I am very, very busy today, but I am going to try and get a WWE breakdown of the uh, war ch uh, battle passes for you guys. If not, there are going to be plenty of them out there. Degeneratio, uh, he is going to be smashing one out today. And I would highly recommend you getting in there uh, and watching that. So, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you did, give me a like. If you didn't, give me a dislike. If you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, my YouTube analytics say that 78% of the people watching the channel actually aren't subscribed. So, hit that button, ring that bell, and then you get notified when all the other content goes up. Until uh, next time, guys, have fun, stay safe. I'll see you all soon.